This camp Photoshop tutorial was completed in Adobe Photoshop CS3, although most of the techniques shown here can be created in older versions of Photoshop. Hello, and welcome to Camp Photoshop. I'm Head Camp Advisor, Roger Ridpath, Adobe Certified Expert. Welcome to the very first Camp Photoshop tutorial. That's 001 for those that are keeping score. I want to show you how to do a stencil effect on a brick wall. I noticed this effect on this uh, website for this new Ben Stein movie, Expelled. Ben Stein from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and I think he's still doing a voiceover for the Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, but anyway, what I was interested in is I thought this was a really interesting uh, effect here on this textured brick wall. And if you want to sign up as a Photoshop Camp Photoshop Camper, you will not only get a high resolution version of this tutorial so you can see every detail, but you will also get the brick wall that I show in this tutorial for free to use however you'd like. So let's get started. I'm going to jump over here to Photoshop and if you want your screen to look the same as mine for this demonstration, you should go to your Windows Workspace and select Default Workspace. I'm going to open a brick wall that I have ready. And here it is. This is the brick wall that you will get for free if you sign up at Camp Photoshop. Okay. So what I need to do is create some artwork to create the displacement channel so that we can get the effect we want, the stencil effect we want. So what I want to do is go over to the Channels tab over here, and that's what we have right here. And then we want to, we're just going to pick one channel. Now usually you're looking for the channel with the most contrast, and um, they all look about the same. Uh, so I'm going to pick the red channel. And I am going to right click on that channel and I'm going to say duplicate channel. Let's zoom back out. And what we want to do is we want to create a new document. I'm going to name this document brick wall map. Okay, it's created this new. Uh, file from our uh, red alpha channel. Now I'm just going to, here's a little trick, I'm just going to actually close this window of this new document and by default I'm going to get a window to save that file. I'm going to just click save. You want to remember where you save it. I'm going to save it here in my Camp Photoshop Tutorials. I'm going to hit the save button. And so I've closed it and I saved it so that document is no longer open. Now uh, this is important. You want to make sure that you go back over here after you've done this and that you click back into RGB and you want to click this RGB so that you're viewing all red, green, and blue. You want to click up here on the top one and now you can see they're all highlighted. If you don't do that, you're going to get some interesting and incorrect results uh, as I learned myself. So then we want to jump back over to our layers menu and now we need something to displace. Uh, in the case of our example of Ben Stein's Expelled, he has some text. So I'm going to put some text up here. And um, I'm going to type example instead of Expelled. And I'm going to use the Transform key. That is uh, Command or Control T. I'm going to use the shift key to constrain my uh, enlargement of my type. I'm going to get this kind of big so you can see it really well. And I think I'm going to turn it at a little bit of an angle like Ben did. Now, we can't do a displacement filter on text. So what you need to do next is you need to go to the Layer, Rasterize, Type menu. And once you do this, this text is no longer editable, but 
it now can have a displacement filter run on it. So next we want to go to filter, distort, displace. Now the numbers in here are in pixels and the numbers that you enter in here do have a relationship to the resolution of the image that you are working with. So you may want to experiment and decrease or increase these numbers. I'm going to pick 20. Uh, I believe 10 is the default, but this is a fairly high resolution image. I'm going to leave this to stretch to fit and wrap around. And I'm going to click OK. Let's zoom back out so you can see what's going on. And now what has happened is when I click OK, uh, Photoshop automatically opens up this window. And I'm going to zoom back in here for just a second. And if you look right here, you can see that it says choose a displacement map. What we're going to choose is the map that we just made, this brick wall map. This is the one we just made a couple of moments ago. I'm going to select that, zoom back out so you can see what's going on. I'm going to hit open and Photoshop's going to do its work and as you can see we have this kind of grungy displaced edge happening and this edge matches the edge of our bricks. You can see here on this dark edge of the brick how it kind of uh, bows out there a little bit. It kind of grunges out on the edges of the, the lines of the brick. Now this effect it's not really complete just like this. What you want to do to, to make this look more like it's actually been spray stenciled onto this brick wall is you want to go over to your layers. And again, I'll zoom in for you here. Select this example text layer. Make sure that you still have that selected. And then I found that multiply works best as far as a uh, blending mode for this particular layer. So let's zoom back out and you can see the result and it does look like it's been stenciled on here. Now you might want to play with the opacity just a little bit. Um, you, you know, you can kind of work with that and see if you uh, like the results a little bit better. I, I find that if you adjust the opacity down just a little bit, it looks a little more realistic. But overall, uh, there's the uh, effect. You've reached the end of this camping trip, but don't forget to stop by CampPhotoshop.com for more Photoshop tutorials by Adobe Certified Expert and Camp Advisor, Roger Redpath. <laughs>